In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of the Lord be with you. Gathered together on this Christmas season, we ask the Lord for a continuation of his pardon and peace so that we may worthily celebrate these holy mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came among us to save us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord Jesus, you took on our nature. 
Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the beginning and the end. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. And let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who in the nativity of your Son established the beginning and the fulfillment of all religion, grant, we pray, that we may be numbered among those who belong to him, in whom is the fullness of human salvation, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Children, it is the last hour. And just as you heard that the Antichrist was coming, so now many Antichrists have appeared. Thus we know this is the last hour. They went out from us, but they were not really of our number. If they had been, they would have remained with us. Their desertion shows that none of them was of our number. But you have the anointing that comes from the Holy One, and you have all knowledge. I write to you not because you do not know the truth, but because you do, and because every lie is alien to the truth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all you lands. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Announce his salvation day after day. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the sea and what fills it resound. Let the plains be joyful and all that is in them. Then shall all the trees of the forest exult before the Lord. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. The Lord comes, he comes to rule the earth. He shall rule the world with justice and the peoples with his constancy. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice.
of God became flesh and dwelt among us. To those who accepted him, he gave power to become the children of God. The Lord be with you. A reading from the beginning of the Holy Gospel according to John. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came to be through him, and without him, Nothing came to be. What came to be through him was life, and this life was the light of the human race. The light shines in a darkness, and a darkness has not overcome it. A man named John was sent from God. He came for testimony, to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him he was not the light but came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came to be through him, but the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, but his own people did not accept him. But to those who did accept him, he gave power to become children of God. To those who believe in his name, who were born not of natural generation, nor by human choice, nor by a man's decision, but of God. And the word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. And we saw his glory, the glory as of the Father's only begotten Son, full of grace and truth. John testified to him and cried out, saying, This is he of whom I said, The one who is coming after me ranks ahead of me, because he existed before me. From his fullness we all have received grace in place of grace, because while the law was given through Moses, Grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God, the only begotten Son, God, who is at the Father's side, has revealed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise we too come into the world for testimony. We too come to testify to the light. And we do so to the best of our abilities, just as John. We do so asking the Lord not only for the graces and the strength we need, but for the joy that comes from giving such testimony. The joy that comes from being close to such light. This is our task. This is our task throughout the year. And the joy of this task and the coming of the light is particularly evident in this Christmas season. We give thanks to the Lord for the call we've received. We ask for his graces, his pardon, and his peace as we continue to walk in the footsteps of all who have come before us, shining, reflecting on the one who came for us all.
in confidence of the one who came to save us, let us offer our prayers and our petition. This Mass is offered for Dan Sorensen. For this intention, let us continue to pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Church, may the Holy Spirit empower each one of us as steadfast witnesses to her truth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all leaders and public officials, May God enlighten them and guide their decisions by the truth of his gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those in the darkness of physical, spiritual, and mental or mental illness, may the healing power of Christ fill them with his peace and relieve their suffering. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an end to abortion, euthanasia, and all the offenses against the dignity of human life, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who serve our country and its people through their service in the military or as first responders, that they remain in our prayers and find God's peace in the midst of perilous challenges, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all in our faith community, ministering to those in need, particularly our Stephen ministry leaders and caregivers in formation, that they remember always they are caregivers. God is the cure giver. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, including Pat Workman, for whom Our Lady of Grace candle burns this week, May God bring them to the fullness of life in his glory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our personal petitions, let us pause in silence. For all of these, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, continue to call your people to yourself. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the field and work of human hands it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands it will become our spiritual drink.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do a fitting homage to your divine majesty, and by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For on the feast of this awe-filled mystery, through, though visible in his own divine nature, he has appeared visibly in ours. And begotten before all ages, he has begun to exist in time. So that, raising up in himself all that was cast down, he might restore unity to all creation and call straying humanity back to the heavenly kingdom. And so, with all the angels, we praise you, as in joyful celebration, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and a chalice of salvation, 
giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Oscar, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. 
Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
May your people, O Lord, whom you guide and sustain in many ways, experience both now and in the future the remedies which you bestow, that with the needed solace of things that pass away, they may strive with ever deepened trust for things eternal. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thank you. 